basically, I know how you stand on most of these things, so I won't try to. I'm, I'm sorry, you lou louder, louder, please. I say I know how you stand on most of these things. Uh, you pretty much have your adamant views, and you're not going to change them. But my question to you, I have two questions. One is, you say that uh, Israel gave compromise to the Palestinians or Arabs or you know, whatever you'd like to call them, uh, back in '47. And uh, this was an imposed solution upon the Palestinians who were the indiz indigenous population at the time. And as you say, they refused to accept this compromise, uh, which was imposed by the UN. Now today, we have a so-called uh, peace process. And uh, many countries in the world, including uh, most of the, the uh, European economic community and most of the world support a UN uh, supervision or a UN international conference, but Israel rejects this because they do not want an outside imposed solution, compromise. Now, what you have here is Israel refusing to have an outside uh, uh, interference from the UN now, and the Palestinians back in 47 refusing to have uh, outside interference imposed on them. So what's the difference? Oh, great, great difference. At that time, Israel agreed, hoping that the Arabs would be rational. After four wars, it sees that they don't want peace. They've seized upon this compromise now because they can't beat us in war. That's the great, great difference. If you push me once, and you push me twice, and you push me three times and four times, and each time I belt you out, don't come to me and say, okay, now I've changed. I don't believe you. I don't believe the Arabs. I don't trust them. And the burden of proof is not upon me. It's upon them who started four different wars. That's the difference. Well, yeah, I think we have a counting problem here because there's more than, been more than four wars. And if we exclude the 47, 48 war, you know, it's up to an individual to decide who started it. We have the 56 war where Israel invaded the Sinai. They initiated that one. The 67 war, I mean, if you want to call it preemptive or not, they, they moved first. The 73 war, they didn't start. 78 war, they invaded Lebanon, and 82 they invaded Lebanon, so that's six wars, and I don't think that the Arab countries initiated most of those. Yeah. But that's besides the point. My second question is, um, in, the, in, the, in the occupied territories, we have, you know, an uprising going on here, and, and basically political dissension or political, you know, freedom of speech is denied to the Palestinians. Um, I, as a Palestinian, I mean, I know I've been there, I know what's going on, and I, I, I can see from the Israeli point of view, I know why they want to shut them up. Okay, but that's, that's in that country. But in this country, we have freedom of speech, democracy, and I don't think the JDL wants freedom of speech in this country either, otherwise they wouldn't espouse the murder and killing of Palestinian activists in this country where it is allowed to speak free, freely. And my example is Alex Oda in, uh, in California who was murdered by JDL uh, members. Um, what do you think about that? Let me take your first question first, second, second, and that third. You spoke about the 56 war and 67 wars as Israel having st struck first, a preemptive war. You're right. Let me show you what happens when Israel doesn't strike first in 73, when Israel wanted to strike first, and Henry Kissinger and Richard Nixon said no and they gave in to them. We lost 4,000 soldiers because, because, we, because we gave in to America. If you know that, they're, that they are planning to hit you, hit them first. Hit them first and save your soldiers' lives. My soldiers are more precious to me than their soldiers. There are no occupied territories. They are liberated territories. Nothing is occupied. I would never be an occupier. <laughs> there is no freedom there. You're done right. They're our enemy. They're our enemy. You don't give freedom to your enemies. And secondly, be very, very careful when you say that JDL killed Oded in... That's what the, the FBI uh, said. Excuse me, you said... FBI, FBI, I got my information from the FBI. Just let me tell you something that the FBI never said it, because if the FBI had said it, it would have been slapped with a multi-trillion dollar libel suit. It stated that it has reason to believe. Oh. Now, let me, ha after having said that, after having said, said that, I, 
I have had no, no ties with JDO since 1984. I founded it, but in 84, I cut ties with it because I can't live over there and run an organization which is violence prone here. I think that the killing of, of the Arab on the West Coast was stupid, was terrible. Nobody benefited from it except the Arabs. It made Jews look bad. You don't do that here. You don't do that, that here. He wasn't that dangerous. He wasn't that kind of a person. He was pro-PLO, big deal. If I had, you know, there are awful lot of, pro, uh, of people here who are pro-PLO. I thought it was a stupid thing. I thought it was a terrible thing. And I can't say it more clearly than that, okay?